continue sharing from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about signs and wonders. Um, in this end time revival, there's going to be many signs and wonders that are going to happen that have never happened before. So when America and America's people get serious and desperate enough and they start, they repent and they just come to God and they are hungry for the things of God and uh, spend time in prayer and praying in tongues, um, then we're going to begin to see revival. But some of the things that are going to happen in this revival, some of the signs and wonders uh, that are going to happen that you might not be aware, aware of are things that happen in the Old and the New Testament. For example, um, there's, there's going to be a trans, transporting of people, their body, them and their car are going to be here, and then the next minute they're going to be in China or in some other country. Uh, tra uh, translation uh, where just your spirit goes and somewhere else. Um, there's all kinds of signs and wonders in the Old and the New Testament. Um, your eyes will be open and you'll see the angelic um, host around you. Uh, let me read some of the things I have in my book here. Um, of course, no, one of the very important things is going to be drunkenness on the Holy Spirit. Not uh, The earth copies uh, when it needs peace, when it's got so much pressure, uh, they go to the bars and drink. But when we Christians have pressure, we go to the Holy Spirit and drink. We get filled with the wine of the Holy Spirit and get drunk on the Holy Spirit. And that's going to be one of the end times things, just like in Joel 2 and Acts 2. Um, some of the other things here are going to be um, glory clouds, rain inside of buildings, which is the glory rain, um, supernatural fire on buildings, on people. It's not, it's, it's, it's uh, in the spirit realm, but you can see it, the dead raising, that's going to be very, very important. Um, things that we never saw or imagined before. Um, and um, one of the things that's really important that's going to happen in end times is people who are not saved. Uh, are going to have dreams and visions. Jesus is going to appear to them in dreams and visions in these countries, like for example in the Middle East, where the or places where the gospel is not welcome. People are going to have dreams and visions about Jesus, and he's going to show them that he is the way and the light. Um, the Holy Spirit is going to be poured out into all flesh, and people will have dreams, visions, and prophecies. Um, those are some things that are going to be very important at, the, at this end times. Um, let me see some other things here I wanted to talk about. Um, in this uh, revival, you're going to see uh, wealth, great wealth turned over to people, supernatural favors. And one of the things I also want to share with you is as you pray for our country, uh, pray for us to go into revival like some of these other countries. There are some spirits uh, that I have written in my book here uh, that you will need to bind and spirits that you let loose. For example, you want to bind strongholds and spirits of strong men, principalities, powers, and dominions of lethargy, apathy, complacency, pride, disappointment, heartbreak, bitterness, deception, controlling, and manipulating spirits, false religion, religious tradition, witchcraft, fear, false humility, self-righteousness, that's a really big one, a spirit of forbooding, forbooding, that means that you're always thinking something bad is going to happen in every situation, um, defenses and offenses, error, confusion, uh, binding and blinding spirits, spirit of hindering, discouragement, condemning, blocking, flattery, tormenting, root of rejection, and so on, and there's a big list here. And there's also spirit, uh, spirits that you want to release, for example, spirits of favor on evangelists, pastors, and ministry, spirits of grace, spirit of revival, joy, peace, favor, righteousness, uh, freedom of movement of the Holy Spirit, ministering spirits, warring spirits, protecting spirits, spirit of impact, spirit of recon reconciliation, spirit of recompense, uh, uh, repentance, holy laughter, love, a revelation, hunger for the truth, um, an open understanding, spirit of comprehension, uh, repentive heart, and so on, and, there, and there's a list here. But that's all I'm going to go over today. Um, you can get my book. I'm still reading from chapter 18. It's called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times.